Hi guys, I'm going to show you Xaflai keys today. So what, what is Xaflai keys? It's a, it's a key binding system for Emacs so that you don't have to press control keys much and you don't have to press meta keys anymore, like not even once uh, for, e for everything you do in Emacs. There are only like four control key combinations you need to press. So why that, you know, because you know, for Emacs, usually you get, um, for many people, you get hand pain, uh, repetitive, repetitive strain injury. Um, so Xaflai keys is one way to solve that problem. Uh, you almost never need to press, con you know, never, never need to press meta or and only few, few control keys. Um, so, so let's go through it. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install it first. Uh, let's start Emacs. So this is GNU Emacs without any init. Let's install it. So I open the file, open my emacs.d. Okay, it's it's empty. Now create a file init.el, and I'm going to install it through Melpa. So in Melpa, you need to put in some config. So it will find the Melpa repository, the Emacs libraries. So paste it here and control E, control, control X, control E to evaluate that uh, Lisp code. So now the Melpa is there and save control X, control S. Now let's call meta X list packages okay now search for xa fly keys there it is so enter control x o switch pen install yes okay installed now there are a few Let's go back to Xaflai keys. Now there are a few config lines you need to add. So copy that, copy back to Emacs. Now I open my init file again and paste it here. Okay. Control X1 to expand the panel. Now So this is uh, required stuff like it's loaded. Then you set a, a key binding, I mean, a keyboard layout. QWERTY is the standard layout, uh, but I'm using Vorax, so let me change that. D V O R A K. Then after that, you just turn it on. Stuff like it's one means turn it on. So I'm going to select this code, then, then call eval region so that's loaded everything is good now actually stuff like keys is on uh, you see now I can you, you can see my keystrokes at the bottom here so you see I press G it actually just do uh, backward forward without uh, pressing control you know I can I can navigate my um, uh, cursor very easy or delete stuff or read undo or uh, you know undo the whole th uh, delete the whole thing undo so so that's that that's it so I, that's the installation from uh, you know default plan GNU Emacs but now I'm going to okay save this uh, say save save this I'm going to use my setup because you know because I have lots of other commands. I'm going to use my setup to show you, um, give you an intro of Xaflai keys. So let's, you know, get out of this um, control X, wait, control X, control C, <laughs> exit. <laughs> you know, I, I haven't used Emacs default key binding for a while. So, okay, so now I'm back in my Emacs uh, set settings. So let's go to 
refresh so that's the unit we just created we don't need it anymore click close close now on this pen you can actually see what command I'm using on, on this pen like every time I do a command you can see it show right here and the keystroke I'm using the keys uh, the keys I'm using is actually Vorac so uh, if you are using QWERTY it's just something but anyway let's let's get on with it so I'm going to wait delete this directory yes and uh, and uh, delete the buffer yes and I made a backup just before I uh, did that so that's today's date so let me rename the file close close that okay so this is my Emacs settings um, you know lots of stuff Alpha is my packages so anyway so so soft like keys um, there are two mods command mods and uh, insert mod when you are in insert mod like I press a key to switch to uh, insert mod you can see the command code is Xafly insert mod activate when when you insert mod anything I type uh, is just inserting text now okay switch to insert mod and switch back to command mod insert mod command mod you, you can tell by the cursor shape like I press a key uh, which is for IQ and 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 now I'm in uh, insert mod. Now I, I press another key, which is uh, uh, end key on my keyboard. I'm using a, a Kinesis Advantage to a uh, fancy keyboard. So end key is near my thumb. So now I'm in insert mod. When insert mod, any key, key I type is doing is doing commands. Like those are commands I just called. Uh, let's see. Okay. Why is my key not showing anymore? So, uh, anyway, so so that's um, so command mod. Uh, so one way to tell is the cursor shape. Insert mod, command mod, insert mod, command mod, and you can change the key uh, that that switch the mod to to almost any key you want. Like you can, um, you know, there's a custom I can show you later so anyway so insert mod and command mod so what what's what does the command mod um, do okay so this is here's the basics the command mod so in general on the right hand side the cursor keys up down left right are the IJKL keys and uh, basically the right hand side uh, right hand keys are all moving cursors uh, yeah, let me let me show you, show you quickly. So, up, down, uh, up, down, left, backward chart, right. Uh, look at the the other panel. So, right, up, down, left, right, and I can move by word left and right, which is this key, backward word, and uh, move uh, to the right, and beginning of a line or end of line. And I can move by paragraph, like um, you know, it it moves like by paragraph, which is really convenient. Uh, basically, so so that's the right hand side keys. That's the um, the basics. The, these six keys are the most important, and and the uh, the edge is for beginning of a uh, file, and. Uh, S is for end of file. So let me show you. Beginning of line or beginning of file. Like if you press, uh, wait, wait. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, H is beginning of line, and if you, if you press it again, it's the uh, beginning of the paragraph. And if you repeat, you just go, you know, above paragraph. So with these two commands, you almost never have to press page up and down anymore. They just move by unit in in your code. Or whatever you are editing. So, uh, so back here, so you can see. So on, so that's the right hand. On the left hand is usually um, editing task. For example, like I, let's you know copy that, create a new buffer. Wait, let's do that again. So move up here, copy, copy, and copy, and create a new buffer, paste. Uh, 
you know, so when I do copy and paste, those are the left hand keys. So you can you can look at the graph and you know learn it, um, learn it. But but that's the basics. So command mod and uh, uh, insert mod. Uh, what what else I want to show you? So okay, I I, I want to make this uh, this intro short. So what so what what else are important? Uh, Oh yeah, so so switching mod, okay, insert mod, command mod, and uh, and and there are another concept which is leader key commands. So so with stuff like this, you never have to press Control X anymore, n n like never. Uh, so in Emacs, remember that every command, um, every key press is actually bound to a key. Uh, bound to a command eventually. So whatever you do in Emac, Emacs, it's always a command call in the end. So any command, you know, for example, switch to buffer. Um, by default, the key is Control X B, uh, but in stuff like this is um, just Space F. So let me let me close that. So close that. Show in Safari. Uh, and I can actually I'm using I'm using Vorac so I can press the key and show Vorac. Oh uh, yeah, so let me show you the um, leader key commands. So so instead of using Control X something or Control X you know Control C or whatever Control something. You instead of that, you press a key sequence in, uh, instead. Instead, so when you are in command mod, you can I can switch uh, buffer by uh, press Control U. So let me show you Control U. So you see it it prompt me to you know to to go to you know the buffer I want. It's it's just calling this command switch to to buffer. So. So in this way, it's almost you know all the com commands instead of instead of using control key, you just uh, space something a key sequence. You don't have to hold it down. So that that's the uh, that that's uh, the um, thing. So that's the um, leader key for commands. Uh, sorry, excuse me, excuse me. That's, that's my alarm clock. That tells me to get up and walk <laughs> every half an hour. Okay, so that's I think that's a basic. Okay, okay, this uh, a little bit more. So so Emacs, uh, Mx, you know that that the command for Mx is is actually called execute extended command, and you can just press A to do it. You know, like for example, uh, let me go back here. Uh, open a new buffer. I just press A. You can see I press A, and uh, it calls Smex. Smex is a package that um, that has a more convenient function uh, as a replacement for execute extended command. So you can press A when you are in command mode, or you can press uh, space return. So let me try that. Space return. You see, and in the this time it's calling the execute extended command so that's how you do meta and uh, you don't have to call meta anymore because all the keys for meta the commands have a uh, some other more easier key in software keys and also the standard control um, key shortcuts like control O for open control N for new buffer control Z for undo, they are also supported by default, but you can turn turn it off. So in this way, uh, actually, when you are using stuff like keys, you you can still use all the Emacs default keys if you want. You know, so it's convenient for uh, if you are still learning it, you can you know fall back to Emacs keys. Um, uh, just make sure you turn this off uh, and search forward. You know. The default search forward is Control X, but here I just um, close that. It just B. Uh, it just a single key B. So in for example, B, 
and I can search let's say fly you know then I press arrow for next backward arrow for before you know so so that that is the basics so I I think that um, you know I'm ju I just want to give you a video demo introduction so for those of you you know who might find it difficult you know after video you, you know it might be uh, much easier so you get a sense there are tutorials uh, you know there's tutorials you can read and uh, customization um, and also if you are using uh, a fancy keyboard you know like Kinesis or um, you know like this one this one is from a friend you know <laughs> he sent me this picture which is very nice he's learning it and this is almost like uh, half a year ago so if you are using fancy keyboard that's good but if you are using normal keyboard like a laptop uh, it also works because you know I try to make it so that it works well for normal keyboard as well as in terminal you can also use it uh, running in terminal so uh, let's see what else so there's tutorials you can go through in customization and recently I also added a uh, discussion uh, on reddit so if you have questions I mean usually like I'm the guy to you know answer questions but sometimes you don't want to you don't want me to answer questions like you want to ask other people's experiences or you want to maybe criticize it you or you want to compare to um, evil mod or god mod or you know you can you can do that in this forum so that 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 is it um, so I hope you like it um, I hope you like it and uh, if you have questions comment on, on you know the YouTube uh, comment uh, uh, okay that, that's it thanks thank you for watching